face after seeing that. I understand that. Gentlemen, for those who come in later and see this after the fact, I hope you're in this place, place, I hope you're in a place where you can pour yourself a nice drink, get yourself a nice smoke, kick back, relax, and enjoy some culture. And as men of culture time, after all, I always think about, hey, let's go appreciate some more Halloween costumes. After all, it is the season. But no, I need a cultural lesson. I made a big, grave mistake. I, in a previous stream, mixed up the me you. So we, I felt it was a pre, uh, it was appropriate to do a stream dedicated to several me yous of several, in various ways, Japanese gravure models. Okay, essentially that's what they kind of all are, though they have different origins, different backgrounds. We'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. We have ourselves the, uh, we'll go into the Miyu Iuhara, Miyu Harashima, which is the gravure model that I mixed up, you know, which is odd because I've done actually, I think maybe three or four streams talk about her. So, and she's a, she, she is a good pick. She is a great gravure model. Absolutely stunning. Great attributes. Plenty of culture just oozing out from her, okay? Good stuff, good stuff. Then we have the Miyu, uh, that's what it pronounces right, Kataoka. And then we have the Miyu Kitamuki. And I confused Miyu Kitamuki with Miyu Morishima. And that's a mistake I'm going to have to undo. Now, let's talk about this. Let's let's start with... Where should we start? Let's do... The one... <laughs> let's do the spiciest one. Of, of the uh, of the four Miyus. Let's do the spiciest one. That would be Miyu Yuhara. Yuhara? U-E-H-A-R-A. I guess Yuhara. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and put her on the screen here. And uh, yeah, this one's going to be spicy, fellas. This one's going to be spicy indeed. Let's play this here. Play this here. I don't think I need the color effects anymore, but I'll leave it there just in case. Copyright issues, whatever. That's kind of what that's for. I think you could see. I think you could appreciate the culture there. Now, Miyu Yurahara, she is no longer with us, so we need to pay our respects for that. She did take her own life. Um, that is that is really sad and really unfortunate. So, uh, you know... You know what? That's not good enough. No. She took her own life. She she hung herself. I was a complete asshole when I stumbled upon that. For some reason, I don't know what it was. The things that day in my personal life. I, The news shocked me when I read that. It, it shocked me. Okay? We handled those situations in various ways. Whenever you hear something like that, I'm just, like, shocked. And I did I did laugh at the absurdity of it. Like... What are you talking about? Like, but then I left it. Like the 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 trope, the cliche, the stereotype of like you know, I mean, Japan has like a good issue, right? You think uh, someone commits suicide in Japan and be like, well, I had to do it. They probably hung themselves. Yeah, they hung themselves. It was sad. <sighs> you know what? There we go. Forgive me, you. Hopefully, you forgive me. Uh, now, like I said, this is a pretty spicy video here. Uh, Yuhara was born on the island of uh, Tenigashima. I'm not sure if I said that right. Uh, she was the youngest of 10 siblings. She attended a high school. 
Kagoshima. Kagoshima. Uh, she dropped out, though. She dropped out. She moved to Tokyo at age 17, and that's when she began her glamour model. This is not when she was 17, guys. We're watching the screen right now. This is fine. This is what you would say is kosher, okay? I will not do you wrong in that way. You don't have to worry about me on that, okay? All right. I know how YouTube is. I know how the internet is. People be like, oh, what's the age of that person? Don't worry. You're, you're fine. You're fine. But she began at 17 as a, a lot, a lot of these, a lot of these models do. I mean, there's a shit. There's a whole freaking like scene of, of this stuff. Even now, currently like a lost generation are essentially homeless that are finding ways to make money. Uh, and shadowy ways. Okay. She became known as a poverty or poor idol. She kind of has that look very disheveled, like that sort of messy, hot look, a hot mess. She does look like a hot mess. Uh, she, I see her now. I mean, she looks great, but she looks like even, even with this, it, I guess maybe it's because I know that she took her life. I see, you know what I see here, guys? I see someone who's struggling, okay? I don't know what happened between the shoots. I don't know what happened in her personal life, okay? But uh, apparently whatever it was, it uh, was too much for her to bear. So she had to end it. She had to press the old reset button but except there except you don't come back you know you know what I'm saying uh she did appear after featuring on the cover of the weekly Playboy magazine I guess over there in Japan weekly Playboy magazine in, in Japan she released her first photo book uh let's see just cover some highlights here. In in 2009, she appeared in a total of 445 television programs. Actually, she's in a movie. She's in a movie that we need to talk about real fast. Uh, let me put this image on the screen here. It, this is like if you if you are a horror guy, if you like horror movies, especially Japanese horror movies, like this is gonna surprise you. All right, it really will. It really will. Uh, let me put this image here. Let me get it. This one right here. She was in a movie called Yatterman. Yeah, that image is so st stretched. Yatterman. What is Yatterman? Yatterman, I believe, uh, is a movie about... Uh, mm, uh, I guess... Leather-clad... Leather-clad Japanese woman and her minions want to conquer the earth and some guy has to stop him. So, like, okay... All right. Sign me up for that. Now there's a name on that on that poster that you might recognize if you like horror movies. Takashi uh Mike? Mikey? I'm not sure how to pronounce that. He is also the director for Audition. Okay? Uh Audition is a fantastic horror movie. It is probably one of the more bizarre horror movies I've seen. A really good use of the whole dream trope thing. The things you see, you can't unsee, and they kind of stick with you. A really good mix of body horror. Um, you know, Japanese horror movies are, oh, man, they're really good at, about atmosphere. They really get that down. And, man, what I love about horror movies, too, it doesn't matter that there's a language barrier. Like, you get it. There's certain things that communicate hard to us cross cultural boundaries, okay? Does that make sense to you? Like, you don't need to understand Japanese if you watch a Japanese horror film to understand, oh man, this is a, this is a fucked up moment, okay? <laughs> you know, this is a fucked up shit. Oh my God, this is fucking crazy. Um, and you kind of get it. Now, the com some things may be lost, if you're just watching it, not translated or whatever, but you get it. Anyway, 
I, I, I found that kind of interesting that Takashi directed this movie. Yatter Man is a movie that we would not be able to watch together. It probably has some nudity in it. Uh, let me show you another image associated with that film so you get the idea of what's going on there. There's an image there. There you go. You have, uh, I believe, correct me if I'm wrong here, that's me, you, Uahara, in a leather suit with two, uh, a, a pigman and a rat guy. And they're the minions for um, of her. So, yay. Yay. Hopefully, this is not the movie that led her to in her life. Because that would be horrible. That would be horrible. All right. So, that's Miyu Urahara. And really, it was... It was... It was horrible. That I mistake, I mistook her for. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you the. Let me show you the video that I, a supposed man of culture, um, got caught confusing the names. And it's possible. It's a simple mistake that anyone can make. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Let me bring it here. Let me bring it here. I take this stuff seriously. I do. I do. All right. Let that. Let that be known. Let that be known. I take it seriously. Maybe too seriously. All right. This is the video here. Let me put it on the screen. This is the one where I was saying, and I could lose the filter here. We don't need that. I was saying, so this video was titled Me You. And I was like, well, I wasn't sure which Me You it was. I was trying to guess. You take a look at her, though. Let me, let's go big. Um, I, it's kind of blurry because of the quality of the film. Okay. It looks like, uh, yeah, they have, they have poor quality sometimes, but already from that view there, it's like, how could I confuse that with this? Like she looks different. Uh, let's, let's get a better view of her, of her face, not her body, her face, her fa uh, that's her body, her face. She's covering her face. Like, okay, that's her body. Her, her face. Her face. Let's go to her face. She's hiding her face. She's hiding her face. There we go. Okay. Her lips have more of a... Um, what do I would say? They kind of look like they're kind of like protruding out a bit. Her, 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 her lips are protruding out. They kind of have like that natural duck face. The duck lips. Like that. Uh, her, her face itself is a little sunken. Where I think it kind of adds to the, the the poor the poor grabber model look, um, whereas this lady Miyu Murashima does not have that. Now her face does kind of have a more her jawline is more uh, narrow than another Miyu we're gonna talk about, but her cheeks are very. Mm. There, there, there's a, lo a lot with her cheeks there. Very nice. Like, like when I see Miyu Morishima, um, look at that. Look at that. Look at that man. Like that. That is good. That is fantastic smile there. Mm. Let's get closer with her face though. Of oh, the face, not not the cleavage. The face. The face. The face, guys. Okay, here we're gonna get a nice face, right? There we go. There we go. There we go. See. That's Morishima, Miyu Morishima, which we'll get into in there. This is Miyu Yuhara. They do look different. They look, I know it's subtle differences, subtle differences, but the subtle differences are what you're going to have to notice and study and work with when we're talking about Japanese gravure models. Okay. All right. Like this right here is actually not a bad a freeze frame is not the worst. Maybe it could be a little bit better. Okay, the thigh, the thigh is not helping me any. Uh, we're, we're, come on, we're trying to study here. Okay, like her face seems more gaunt. Okay, her hair is long, but it's tangled, and it seems to be a look she keeps with her. Whereas Miyu Morishima. Long hair, 
Not really tangled, not tangled, not tangled at all. You know, it's nice. Look at that, look at that, man. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hmm. Her cheeks are much more fuller, more plump. Guys, we are men of culture. We notice these things, right? Right? We do. We do. Let me know in the comment section what you notice the big difference between Mia Yorohara and Mia Morishima. Because there are people, other channels probably, that probably should be like, you know, cool with me. I might say, oh, we're just a bunch of pervy men just objectifying women. That's not what we do with your guys. We're gentlemen. We're gentlemen. We have class. We respect. Hmm. Now, speaking of Miyu Morishima, which we're gonna reference back to her several times here. Uh, let's let's play a video that someone sent to me in the comments section. I totally missed it. And they're like, are you telling me you didn't play the latest release, uh, her latest video? So let's play it. Let's play it. Let's play it right here. This is Miyu Morishima. She's great. I've mentioned her several times on this channel. She seems, man, she has a great face, a great body for camera. She always seems like she's very happy, very glowing, and it seems very authentic. We'll find out later, right? Right? Hopefully not. Hopefully. Look, I said we find out later. I'm just saying odds of Japanese and societal pressures and the way they handle things. I'm hoping for her. She ages like, uh, I hope she ages like Rina Hashimoto or like, um, oh my God, one of the more iconic Gravru models and their name is escaping me. I literally named my bike after her. Oh my God. I'm having a fucking brain fart moment, a fucking Joe Biden moment. You don't, you don't even know. You don't even freaking know. But Rina Hashimoto, if you know who she is, she has these lovely, she has a freaking beautiful eyes, wide eyes. Like um, Miyu Morishima kind of has that similar, uh, similar look there. I think, I think, you know, as long as. The, the industry treats her well. As long as she takes care of herself, she should be fine. Tomomika. Tomomika. Jesus. Morizaki. Man. Man. That's a fucking brain fart there. I hope she age, ages like her. Because she, she has aged just fine. Just fine. So this is more of Miyu Morishima. He's absolutely fantastic. I don't see a single flaw there. Look at that. Look at that water. Look at that water. That water is enhanced with her presence. Look at that. Look at that landscape. 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 Pause it. Pause it. Pause it. What? What? Okay. Okay. You know, the Sonic Jazz covers that I play is nice until uh, the chicks are singing. Let's change this to um, this. Anyway. Oh, yeah. Let's watch her. Let's watch her. Miyu Morishima. Absolutely gorgeous. 100%. Gravru model? Yes. JAV? I don't think so. I don't think so. There's a difference with that. And if you are an American, the difference is like this. There's your sports illustrated. There's, well, that's athletes, right? It's supposed to be, right? That's supposed to be athletes. There's your Maxim. There's your Kate Uptons. And then there's your porn, right? Different, different. Kind of like that. Kind of. They're like fashion models. 
in a way. In a way. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that smile, man. That face. Ah, oh, man. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. So Mur uh, Murashima, Miyu Murashima, is, date of birth is August 27th, 1998. Does that make her a Leo? No, she's a, vir a Virgo. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, birthplace, Osaka, Japan. Height, she is 5'1", but that's okay. That's okay. You know what that means? You know, man, the short girls, they're fun. They're fun. They're fine and they're fun. And they just look at, like, you don't have to be that built of a guy. You don't have to be built at all. If you're a tall guy with broad shoulders, like, you kind of already have a presence, you know? But, um, if you're a fat guy like myself, even though you're tall, like 6'2", <laughs> good luck keeping up with her. Good luck. Because her activities, her favorites are running marathons. <laughs> good luck on that. I'm not running a marathon unless there's a beer. Not at the end. A beer like every, mm, we'll go quarter mile. And I'm drinking along the way. So I'm probably going to get cramps. And running it, psh, I'm walking that fucking thing. I'm, I'm walking that fucking thing, okay? With a stein in my hand, drink of the beer, and I get to the next spot. Dude, that that would be fun. I would actually do that. That would actually be fun to do. Uh, yeah, that's being more Shima. Let's talk about Miyu. Hmm... Let's see, which, which other one can we talk about here? We got four Miyus to cover. Four Miyus. Let's show this one. This is Miyu Ka Taoka. Miyu Ka Taoka. Now this lady, this lady's new to this channel. We haven't referenced her at all, but she is another Miyu, so we're going to show her here. Okay. Uh, she does grab her now. <laughs> wow. Wow. Look at that. Fantastic angle there. Wonderful bikini. Look at that. Highly recommend Look at that there. It stays a... Look at that. Look at that. Look at that jump. Look how that bikini stays there. Now, she also is or was, and correct me there for specifics in the comment section, a J-pop idol as well. Uh, I believe she was in the Niji no Conquistador group, which is a group I've reacted to on this channel. I've, I've reacted to J-pop on this channel. J-metal and J-pop. When I delved into the J-pop thing, I lied and said I was new to J-pop. That wasn't true. That wasn't true. And I, I corrected that. I revealed the, the truth. But I was new to uh, Niji no Conquistador. I didn't know anything about her or that group. And uh, wow, look at that massage. Look at Look at the detail of that massage there. Look at that fantastic. Wow. Mm. You know, you got to rub the lotion all over the skin. You have to. Healthy skin is a big deal. Okay? You got a girlfriend? If you don't rub lotion over all of your girlfriend, her skin's going to age. She's going to become wrinkled and, 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 and nasty looking. Do you want them to age well? Or you want them to age poorly? You got to treat them well. You got to massage them with all sorts of lotion. Sure, you get in there on the inner thigh and play around. That's fine too. They want you to do that. But you got you gotta you gotta treat her well. What? I mean, wow, 
Wow. Woo. And I said, me, you, Iwahara was going to be spicy. I mean, this lady is a J-pop idol doing this stuff. Man. If you, if you haven't checked out the group, if you haven't checked out already, uh, Niji no Conquistador, I highly recommend you do just for her. And also because there's all sorts of lovely Japanese ladies that I know once again, I'm going to say this here, that are of age. I know it's YouTube, it's internet, and you got to be concerned about it. You got to be like, oh, what's going on here? Don't worry. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine with me. All right? All right, let's... Uh, that was Miyu Kataoka. Uh, let's see. Anything else we can say about Miyu Kataoka here? Anything else? Anything else? Let me see. Let me put it back on the screen while I go over these these uh, highlights here. Because I missed anything. Let's go over all this again. I'm, I'm no, you, I know you appreciate the culture there. So, yeah, she is... Uh, well, she's a Japanese graphic model. She was a former member of Niji no Conquistador. Uh, she... That's pretty much it. That's what I have here. Has she been in films and TV shows? I'm going to let the comment section take care of that. Take care of that work for me. Look at that. Lovely bikini there. And guys, on this channel, we respect and we appreciate uh, bikini try-ons. Especially summertime. It's good to know what bikinis... Because it's not as simple as you think. It's not as simple as you think. You might think that a bikini is fine. You just put it on whatever. You just get whatever. No, 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 no. Like, body design and skin tone are things you need to take into consideration. And you may not actually understand until you see it in use. This whole... Don't, I tell you, man. If you guys think I'm doing this for some purview reasons, I will stop this right now. I'm doing this... I'm doing this for education, for cultural education. Sorry, I was, uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about something right there. I was, I was thinking about how people would doubt that. Cultural education is important. Let me reiterate there. Cultural uh, education. 100%. 100%. Okay. That was Miyu Katoka, uh, Kataoka. And she looks different than Miyu Morishima. Let's compare. Let's compare. So, oh, that's Miyu Katamuki. We'll get to her in a little bit. Here we go. Let's compare. Let's compare. All right, so this is Miyu Morishima. Let's get a good freeze frame here. Let's go larger. First off, let's enhance this. Can we get a close up of her face, please? A close up of her face. Let's, you know, I talk like I have a producer here that could do little things for me. That's tolerable. Okay, all right. I, I want to like a zoomed in, but that's fine. I, wait, I think there might be. Here we go. Here we go. When she's talking. No smile though. Let's back up. Let's play it before she. Okay. Right there. Right there. All right. That's Miyu Morishima. This is Miyu Kataoka. Let's get a zoom up of her face. That's her butt. There we go. All right. I already see a big difference in the nose. Is it the nose? Let's see. Yeah, the way the nostrils are shaped. But see, that's a small, subtle difference. Uh, they both do have the wide eye, but I think. Let's see. Let's compare them. 
The facial structure is a little bit different. It's subtle differences, subtle differences, guys. Subtle differences. There's a difference there with the nose. Um, it, it's not. It doesn't help that she's smiling here, and she and, and obviously this lady's not smiling. This. Okay, like, can we back up? Uh, there's a smile. There's a smile. Okay, the smile is drastically different too. Okay. So it, it, it's that stuff you got to pay attention to. Uh, and also the way her hair is. Me, you, because it's all, look, they don't really change the gravel models. Like there's a look and they kind of stick with it. Um, her hairline, Miyu Ka Kataoka, has more bangs there. You see right there kind of covering her forehead. You don't see her forehead. You see hair there. You know, honestly, if the hair wasn't there, you probably see like a... a a huge forehead here we have Miyu uh, Murashima she has some veins too but it's 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 combed it's in a certain way okay but I see the other differences in the cheek and also in skin tone as well she's not as pale um, I would say that Miyu Murashima's eyes are a little bit wider and the smile is more inviting but they both do have a uh, a nice a nice sunny disposition about them, right? Right. Look at that. Look. Look at that. Look at that. Uh, yeah. It's a little different, uh, guys. I hope you're paying attention. Pay attention. Pay attention. Take notes. Take notes. Because if I show you one of these models' their face, you need to be able to say, "Oh yeah, that's that one particular guy. That's one that." particular lady I need to as well okay all right all right Miyu Kitamuka let's talk about her now she already from Jump Street already from the beginning she does look different from Miyu Morishima uh, you can already tell just just the face alone like it seems like more her jaws wider a much wider uh jawline there okay let's play this let's play this let's let's see her move around her hair is much different nose is different definitely the difference in the hair there We have to appreciate these things. That's right, chat. The nose is important. And guys, I know I do this morally for the uh, mostly more mostly for the people who watch afterwards. Okay. All right. Uh, that's kind of how it has been on this channel. Like I'll stream, and maybe a few people watch. It's usually people from other channels that are in. I guess like my drama related stuff or whatever, you know, is what it is, is what it is. I notice on this channel, most of my audience is, uh, in Japan. I, I don't, I don't know if I need to change my streaming schedule or what. <laughs> uh, I can't start speaking Japanese. Uh, I, I don't know what I could do for them. Um, now Miyu Kitamuka. I really don't know much about her and I've been trying to search and search and search about like information about where she came from, what like production company, all that stuff. But it's like a mystery. Like, no, dude, I've spent several, well, almost an hour searching the information. Like, like I spent the same amount of time searching with the other memes as well. Okay. All right. It shouldn't take that much. It shouldn't take that long. All right, you, you, you search it and you try to find, you know, re related information. But for 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 her, I don't, I don't, I'm not finding it. And maybe you could say, well, Mr. Devin, maybe you could spend more time. And you know what? Fair enough. Fair enough. Maybe I need to spend more time appreciating culture, researching culture, uh, for for studying it. Right. Look at look at that pose. Look at that. Look at that. That is fantastic right there. Jeez, Louise. Lovely, lovely, lovely. 
Man. You no, know, she's stunning. She's beautiful. But she's very different from that of me and Morishima. I gotta say, out of the Gravity models we talked about here today, I say the one who still is my favorite out of these four is me, Morishima. And I would feel bad if I couldn't spot her if their faces were lined up. So, uh, someone definitely has to test me on that. Let's see. Oh, look Look at that. that look at that. I like that. I guess you see her sit there and pretend to drive. Look at that. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, walking up the steps. Who knew it could be so entertaining? More smiles, more smiles. So let's go back to me and Morishima. Let's play. Oh, that's not her. Uh, let's play more of this is the, yeah, this is the the latest video. I think I think we can get one 4K. I think there is a 4K one available. Let's let's get that. Let's get that. Okay. It is what it is. You're right. Let's get a Mew Morishima 4K. Can we get that? I like how when I Google Mew Morishima, uh, my written chill streams come up and the Castlevania Symphony of Night randomizer, which I haven't done because I don't know if you guys even like that sort of thing. And playing Castlevania again over and over again is still fun for me, but if you guys don't like it, then it's like, well, I guess I'll just do it on my own time. Uh, I don't, is this going to be 4K? Let's put this on the screen here. Well, that's me, Morishima. See, okay, that that there, that that's where. You, see, it it's right here. That's where I could see a huge difference. That face right there, that's me, Morishima, and that does very much look different. And the other thing I like here is me, Morishima seems to have both. A very beautiful face. Very look those eyes, that smile, great structure there, right? Lovely, lovely body as well. Like nature has been kind to her. She for uh, you know has lovely assets there. Very bountiful, plump uh breasts there. And then she also has an ass as well. So if you are an ass man and you are a breast man. Miyu Morishima is not a bad graver model to, to look into and be like, you know, how how does she look in a bikini? Like, it is, is it looking good on her, you know? What's going on there? So she's having a lot of fun playing around here. I like I like these shoots where they encourage them to have fun and jump around and, you know, in the water and stuff. That's nice. That's nice. You know, hopefully they, they're treated well. Hopefully they are. You know what, guys? And this is <coughs> and this is good stuff. I'm mean, okay. This is good stuff to watch because it takes us, it distracts us from all the drama in our life, all the negativity, all the bullshit from work. Uh, you know, whether it be relationship drama, family drama, work drama, work issues. Issues with your boss, coworkers, whatever. You know, there's only so much you could do. Maybe you could appreciate some culture. And I look at this as a fellow man that appreciates culture, that appreciates a fine work of art, and is a work of art. Think about it. And don't feel bad doing it because she wants you to, she wants you to appreciate it as well.
that she does. That she most definitely does. All right. Well, this stream is a bit shorter than the previous Men of Culture streams. We covered four Miyus, four different Miyus. I hope you enjoyed this. I very much so did. And um, I will see y'all. Well, here's the thing. I'm probably going to be changing up my streaming schedule once again. See, that's another thing. Okay. Probably another reason why none of these things really catch on. Because uh, live in the moment. I'll be changing up my streaming schedule yet again. And uh, what it's going to be is, you know. Man, see what it is, man. Like constantly doing one thing. I don't like, I, I like to change up here and there. And what I'm probably going to do, you know, what I'm probably, what, what I plan on doing is on the, the more drama. Well, I'm going to do some streams on this channel that are probably going to be mm, a little more internet drama related and a little bit more, uh, laughing at stupid people. Okay. Again, going to inject that onto this channel. Uh, but probably either make that Mondays. I'll still keep the men of culture stuff and I'll still keep the appreciation of uh, when I say men of culture, I mean not just the ladies, but also the music as well. So, um, so Monday, I might be ready to start a, a different stream, a different type of stream, a, a different content really uh, for this channel. And it should be a lot of fun. I'm going to have a lot of fun. You guys should have a lot of fun. We'll be laughing at people doing stupid stuff. Uh, really fucking stupid shit. Like pissed, like drinking their own piss and shit like that. It'll be a lot of fun. It'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, with that said, you guys take it easy. And have a good one.